The Secret Service knew the Coke was found in the library and put it in a cubby and closed the case. James Fitzgerald is a retired FBI criminal profiler and a forensic linguist. James, so they have DNA and they've had it the whole time and they're preserving it. What's going on here? I think you'd almost have to do a few lines of cocaine, Jesse, to understand <laughs> all that you went through and all this investigation has been happening, happening with this investigation over the last few months. It seems like obfuscation is the, is the prime operating word here. Confuse everyone as much as possible. I'll leave out the clue game references with library to, uh, to Cubby and who knows where Colonel Mustard may be or someone like that. But th this is just, this should be a very simple investigation. A bag is found somewhere. Police, uh, uh, Secret Service are called. Here's the evidence. Send it to the lab. But there's just so much going on here. You can't help but ask yourself and any you don't even be an experienced profiler. Just ask yourself, there's just too much gone wrong here. No investigator is that bad. Even a crack investigator, no pun yeah. intended, would somehow get the basic information right here, get it off to the right lab, and get the primary uh, uh, DNA from the baggie, if, it, if the baggie still exists, and that could still be very valuable. All you need is one to 10 nanograms of, uh, of DNA material for touch DNA, and you have your suspect. You have the suspect, people give the uh, swabs, and you should narrow this down within days. Does it seem like to you that they found it on the floor of the library? Because that's what it sounds like to me. They found it on the floor of the library, and then they moved it all around, and it wound up in a cubby where there was no camera and 500 suspects. Isn't that what it is? It's a cover-up. Yeah, that's, uh, who knows, the person on the floor, of the, there may have been a person on the floor of the library where this <laughs> cocaine was found, and they had to take it off of his hand, then put it into the cubby. Um, there's all kinds of counter and, and triple counter moves going on here to, again, somehow confuse those of us in the public, and, and certainly some investigators. And I, I, I was on with you back in July about this. I am sure there are some investigators chomping at the bit, Secret Service, FBI, that really want to get to the bottom of this, but they're being told by their appointed bosses that, no, this is, uh, you know, keep the littleness whole matter, and uh, it'll just go away. Would it but make thanks sense? to you guys getting your FOIA request back, sure. we know I mean, more. we got a thick stack here, and we're just going through it. Would it make sense for the Secret Service to hold on to this DNA sample just in case, you know, just in case? In case anything happened or anything needed to happen? There's never a reason to get rid of evidence, certainly within weeks or months of a crime. Ten years down the line, maybe, but, uh, but not at this point in time. There's just, it's just no rationale for that. Yeah, they blew up the Coke bag and then they kept the DNA. Very, very interesting. All right. Well, we're going to keep uh, digging and, and here. still very solvable. Still yeah. very solvable, <laughs> Jesse, very, if the right people get involved. If I can solve it, the Secret Service can solve it. <laughs> Thank you so much, James. And with oh. either of us, without either of us doing cocaine. Either. I know. We don't even need to do any blow. We can solve it like that. Common sense. That's all it takes. Thanks as always. Hi, everyone. I'm Brian Kilmeade. I want you to do me a favor. I want you to click to subscribe to the Fox News YouTube page. This is the only way that I know for sure that you're not going to miss any great commentary, any great news bites, any great interviews coming your way on Fox. You can get it all here on YouTube. So subscribe right now.